Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be learning about metal complexes. Here are our syllabus dot points. So what are metal complexes? A metal complex is formed when a metal ion is joined to other atoms, ions or molecules. The metal ions which exist in the metal complex are usually transition metals due to the presence of their d orbitals. These d orbitals enable the substance to engage in coordinate covalent bonding which we will discuss later. Metal complexes which consist of transition metals are usually colored. So for example, copper hexahydrate has a molecular structure demonstrated on the left hand side and has a physical structure which is colored as it has a physical appearance of blue crystals shown on the right hand side. In metal complex, the metal forms coordinate covalent bonds with molecules that are called ligands. These ligands must have at least one electron lone pair in them in order to be able to form a coordinate covalent bond. When we are looking at metal complex formation reactions, they can have a variety of equilibrium values. Here is an example of a metal complex formation reaction. Copper 2 plus reacts with 6 H2O ligands in order to form the metal complex copper hexahydrate. Metal complex reactions can have a variety of equilibrium constant values. The charge of the metal complex is also calculated by taking the sum of the oxidation state of the metal ion plus the charge of the ligand. Since the ligand has a charge of 0, 6 times 0 plus 2 equals to 2, hence why the metal complex has a charge of 2 plus. Metal complexes also have a coordination number. The coordination number is simply the number of atoms which are attached to the metal ion. In this case, there are six coordinate covalent bonds formed, and so the coordination number is six. The bonds which form within the metal complex are a special type of bond, which is called the coordinate covalent bond. These bonds are formed when two electrons from one element are donated to another. Here we have an example of the formation of diamine silver. In the first step, we can see initially that there are lone pairs of electrons on both of the nitrogen atoms on the ammonia molecules. Both electrons from the lone pairs of the ligand are then donated to the metal ion. Once that has occurred, the coordinate covalent bond has now been formed as the nitrogen and silver both are sharing the two electrons which were donated originally from the nitrogen. Ligands can come in different forms. A unidentate ligand is a type of ligand where there is only one donor atom which leads to the formation of only a single coordinate covalent bond. Examples of unidentate ligands are chloride and ammonia. Chloride is demonstrated on the left while ammonia is demonstrated on the right. Water which we have previously seen is also an example of a unidentate ligand. As we can see on both on the left and the right hand side, there are water ligands attached in the metal complex. On the right hand side we can see that actually it is the lone pair from the oxygen which leads to the formation of the coordinate covalent bond in water. For both of these metal complexes, since there are a total of 6 coordinate covalent bonds which we can see, the coordination number of both of them must be 6. Another type of ligand is the bidentate ligand. A bidentate ligand is a type of ligand which as the name suggests has two donor atoms which can simultaneously bind to a single metal ion. When this occurs, they lead to the formation of rings called chelates. An example of a bidentate ligand is oxalate. The oxalate ion has two lone pairs on each of the end oxygens. And if we see on the right hand side, there are a total of four oxalate ligands attached to the zirconium ion, each of these oxalates forming two coordinate covalent bonds. It is important to note that the coordination number refers to the number of attached atoms. So although there are only four ligands, the coordination number is eight since there are eight coordinate covalent bonds and eight attached atoms. Here we'll look at an example which is a dissolution of silver chloride in ammonia solution to form diamine silver. First, the silver chloride salt dissociates in the ammonium solution to form the silver plus ion and the chloride ion. Once that is in solution, the silver engages in a metal complexation reaction with ammonia to form diamine silver. It is important to note since the free ion silver concentration decreases after complexation, the solubility of the silver chloride will increase in the ammonia solution, leading to the formation of more Ag plus ions. In our net equation, we can see that the free chloride ion still exists and is in solution after the formation of the silver complex. We can investigate the complex a little further by considering its charge and its coordination number. The charge is equal to the sum of the charges of the metal ion and the ligands. Since the silver ion has a charge of 1 and the ammonia molecules have a charge of 0, 1 plus 2 times 0 equals to 1. And as we expect, the metal complex has a charge of plus 1. This is an example where the metal complex is not formed from a transition metal. The formation of the aluminium hydrate begins with the dissociation of the aluminium nitrate in water. 
leading to the creation of the aluminium 3 ion and the NO3 minus ion. After the compound has been ionized, the aluminium ion forms coordinate covalent bonds with six water ligands to form the aluminium hexahydrate complex, while the nitrate ions exist as spectator ions. We can see that in the net ionic equation, we have the formation of the aluminium hexahydrate complex. The charge of this complex is going to be 3 because there is 3 plus from the aluminium ion plus 0 times 6 from each of the waters which equals to 3. Since there are 6 coordinate covalent bonds between the metal ion and 6 other atoms, the coordination number is also going to be 6. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive